Hey guys, our timeline is just about there. Uh, all we need to do is make it responsive because right now it doesn't do anything when viewed on a smaller screen. All right, so we're just gonna go to style.css and all the way at the bottom, let's create a media rule. And I'm gonna set this max width I'm going to set it to uh, 768. Okay, 768 is basically your iPads and tablets. All right, so anything that size and smaller, that's going to be, uh, these styles will, will be in effect. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is the container. I want it to be wider when the screen is smaller, so we'll say width 95%. Okay, next the header. And you can see I set the container to 95%. Um, the default version has a, a fixed width of 940. All right, so let's actually take a look at that. Okay, when we have the browser stretched out, when we have a big screen, you can see that no matter what, the width of the container stays the same, but if we hit 768, then whoop, why isn't that working? Um, did I do something wrong here? Oh, I have an equal sign here. We need a colon. All right, let's try that again. So now you can see that once we hit that mark, that's 768, it then turns into a fluid layout, fluid container. All right, so for the header, I'm going to make that a little smaller, make the height a little smaller, let's say 50 pixels. I also want to uh, decrease the size of the H1 tags. So font size, and I'm going to set it to 23 pixels. All right, so the timeline div, I'm going to, we're going to, let's just go up here for a second and see what we have for timeline. Okay, I'm going to copy this. We're still going to have the line um, image for the background. I just want to position it differently. All right, so instead of 50% zero, I want it all the way to the left and all the way to the top, which would be zero, zero. Okay, so let's see that change. All right, so now that you can see the line is now all the way over. All right, we want to do the same thing with the these dots. So let's take the TL year. And I just want to see what we got up here. I'm going to copy all this. See what we got to change here. All right, so the background, again, I'm going to set this to 00, zero so that it's all the way to the left. Um, display block is good, width height is good. Okay, text align. We want to change that from center to left. All right, and I'm going to set the margin. I'm going to set it to zero. Okay, so that should move the year dot. All right, you can see it's not. Oops, it's not lining up yet, but uh, we'll take care of that. So I want to do the event. Okay, so basically, let's grab this. Uh, basically, all I want to do here is change the background image um, placement or position. I'm going to change it to. Um, 16 pixels, zero. Okay, still not lined up, but don't worry about it. We'll get to that. So now I want to do the div that is inside the event div, which would be the right and left. So let's see, event div. And I'm going to set the width to 85%. And then position relative. Okay. Now let's get the left and right divs. 
I'm just going to copy them. All right, so for the right, um, what do we want to do? Actually, you know what? I don't think we want to change the right. No, we don't want to change the right. We just want to bring the lefts over to the right. Okay, so we can actually get rid of this. And then this, we're going to change the, the left float to a right float. And then change the positioning of the background image to zero, zero. Okay, and then we want to get, let me copy this here. We want to get the div that's inside of these and set a margin left. Okay, so this will be so that the arrows will be displayed and then a margin right set to zero. All right, so let's see how this looks. Um, okay, we need to change the actual image here as well to um, arrow left. Okay. All right, so it looks good except for this, the alignment of the background image, the line. And I just want to move that, so let's go to the timeline div. And we want to change this to 30 pixels zero. That should push it over. There we go. Okay. Hit 768, changes its layout. Okay, so on a mobile device, it would look something like this, which looks pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh, I wanted to do the transition. Just when the page loads, I want the events to, to kind of just fade in. All right, give it a, a little, a tiny bit of animation. So let's go to, let's see, the event block. All right, and we're gonna put WebKit animation is going to be fade. Okay, so we'll call it fade. And then WebKit animation duration will be two seconds. Okay, so now we just need to create a simple key rule um, or keyframe rule. So WebKit keyframes fade. Actually, this needs to be curly braces. All right, and then we'll say zero percent opacity is going to be zero. Okay, so basically it's going to be invisible, and then at a hundred percent. We want it to be at one. All right, so let's try that. All right, so now we have the uh, nice looking fade effect when the page loads. So that's it, that's our responsive CSS timeline. Thank you for watching.